Hey, what's up? It's your boy Zax or Logan, Logster, whatever you want to call me. Um, today we got a 1v1 GB. Uh, crap, I got some stuff on my computer and I'm playing up against Brilliant Rage. Um, best, it was a best of three. I'm showing him the first game play. This one gets down all the way to the wire. Uh, but yeah, further ado, let me start. So, um, I'm pretty sure what I try to do just right off the bat. Is I'm running my scorpion, obviously. Uh, it was working in the few GBs I played the other nights, and right here the round is about to just end. And I was like, okay, so this, I thought this round was gonna go fast, but it went all the way out to the wire, as I said. Um, basically, what I was trying to do there was I was just trying to get around him, and try to get on the back side that's what I try to do in every 1v1 that I play but sadly it doesn't always work but I just play really awkwardly for 1v1s because I don't do them a lot but you know you do what you gotta do um, the audio should be fixed in this video I did switch it from super crunch to Treyarch mix so yeah um, as you see right here, he just keeps hiding in these spots. It made me so mad. You're going to see me die like three or four times from him just hiding in the engine rooms. Uh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Oh my gosh. But yeah. These rounds take forever to end and then restart for some reason sometimes. I'm just going to carry on with my scorpion. Um... Pushing the A side, I'm hopefully thinking that maybe he's going to try to push up and play like a normal person, but this guy does not play normal. Um, another thing, though, is uh, an, in another match that I played against him, I played on Raid, and I realized that I'm a very, very pushy player, as you can see. I'm always pushing the middle and whatnot, but this guy owns me again in the generator room. I honestly was ticked off the second time and I was trying not to wake up my parents because it's it was like two o'clock in the well it's 2 30 right now I just got done with the GB I wanted to re just do a little do a little calm about it but yeah it was like two o'clock in the morning um and I played this game and I was like gosh it oh crap because parents room is right over there but now I'm just trying to bring it be trying to catch him off guard but he's gonna once again as you can see right on there he's going in the engine rooms well actually he pushed out a little bit more this time I think I actually get the W on this one on this round putting it 2-2 two, two. yeah you're about to see me get the W I was like screw it I'm pushing him and then backed off I did not know oh he's going for the engine rooms again he saw me going around now I'm thinking uh, I'm I'm going to pull smartums and I'm going to go push up in the middle because he's going to try to go back in the engine room sadly to say though he was in the engine room once again for the third time so there we go look like I had two fingers up not trying to confuse you um but yeah so at this point, I'm like, one and three. Okay, I'm not letting this happen. This is a bunch of bull crap. I'm not just going to lose this. And I was on like a three or four win streak for single GBs. And before that, I was just getting mad about stupid rules. I, tr <laughs> I registered and I wanted to play GBs. And so I just decided, oh, I'll just accept these people's matches. Well, two maps in a row... I ended up, I got two different things. I got a GB variant um, maps. So I was like, okay. And then I looked at the rules, and apparently I looked up GB maps and modes, which is apparently different. Apparently GB maps is all the maps, but you do ladder rules to them. So you get stupid score streaks or something like that. But basically, it was no. I meant no. It's GB, so they don't do all. They do all the normal league stuff, 
and they do the GB rules like no attack mess, no flak jacket, overkill kind of stuff. But you only have four rounds, and you have three minutes. So I was like, okay, so I messed up the map. I was, I told the kid, because I was owning him, I went three and one, I think, on him. And then he's just like, wrong rules, the game's over. And so I was like, I don't feel like messing with it. So I'll let the kid have the map. And then I just reported my scores as all zeros, and he had all sixes. Uh, and then after that, apparently I clicked on GB maps and modes so it was best of six and with a 1.5 timer and you know all the regular rules like no battle chatter so apparently I messed up the rules for that didn't make me a happy camper now if I'm right I do die here yeah I look straight to the ground cause auto aim loves me actually no I really hate that uh, I watched Ninja's, um, the Halo player, he's starting to do a lot of Call of Duty, he's getting really good, really nice transition over, he's the anchor for his team, well, for whatever team he has, but I saw him playing, and every single time he got close to something, he just, boop, his aim would go down every single time, whenever that happened, that was the first thing that struck in my mind, I'm like, no, so, as you can see, 4-2, not doing so hot. I'm just kind of getting smacked around, so I decided, screw this kid. If he could, if he's going engine room, I'm gonna just smack him. As you see, he obviously saw me, so he's walking in his favorite room, the engine room. He goes in, he's like la da 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 da, and then I choke a bazillion shots, but thank goodness I lag. The luckiest lag ever, right there. So, I didn't. I don't even think he saw me, to be honest. In that kill cam, I don't know. This is my first time going over this video. Um, before I went over, before I started doing this com, I was looking over how this kid plays because he beat me in the series of three. Um, it was. Six five, six five, six. And then I got one sixed. I no, it's six five five six, one six. I don't know what happened, but he just destroyed me on raid, cause I pushed way way too much. So yeah, I'm like five three. I'm not losing to this kid. I I'm like pulling out the AR. I'm just not even dealing with it. I'm going to sit back and let him come to me because he knows I push all the time with that scorpion and I was tired of pushing and whatnot. My hair's all messed up. Look like a tard. And I was like, screw it. I'm going to miss a couple shots and actually kill this kid. That's exactly what happened. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oc no. So it's October 13th. Two more days till one month of the PlayStation 4 comes out, and I'm going to be grinding that ghost, and content is going to be coming out all the time. All the time. I'm going to be busy a lot in November, but that ain't going to stop me. Oh, heck no. I'm, take, I took, I'm going to take, if I could talk, if I could take a, take a talk, um, I'm taking the day off of work. Well, I'm probably going to work the day of, which is Friday, go at midnight. Grab my PlayStation 4, grab my copy of Ghost, go home, turn on Wonderful X Split, get a game going for you guys. Hopefully, the server connection, because I know whenever Black Ops 2 came out, Xbox did not. <laughs> I messed up this plant totally. Um, I know that it did not have running servers right at the beginning of the game. A lot of people were complaining. I didn't buy this game on launch night. I actually. <laughs> Funny story. I'll tell it to you while we still got some time on the clock. It is 5-4. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do come back in this round. What am I talking about? He doesn't win any more rounds. Um. So. I just want to see how I beat this one. Now I remember. Okay. So. Whenever I got this game. I said. Okay. 
I'm gonna buy this game. I'm gonna be the cool kid. Get the prestige edition. Did I get the prestige edition? No, I did not. What actually happened is Toys R Us screwed me out because Toys R Us was the only place that was left pre-ordering. Well, there was a incident in the pre-orders. See, what happened was whenever I pre-ordered Black Ops 2, I ordered it so it would be delivered directly to my doorstep and I wouldn't have to deal with people and lines because, let's be honest, nobody likes people in lines. Well, people might like people, but people don't like lines. So... I order it to come to my house. What happens? I wait three days. Nothing. And then my brother's like, hey, Logan, did you know that you were... Are you one of those special people that got the delay mixed up or whatnot? And I was like, what do you mean delay mix up? Well, apparently there's some people who got Mass Effect 2 discs instead of Black Ops 2. And so they took all the orders back. They're like, give me back all the orders. So apparently I was one of the special lucky thousand that got mine. Didn't I canceled my order. Went to Walmart the night that one of my friends brought over his copy. I was like, no, I'm not split screening. So I went up, canceled my order. Didn't get my money back from Toys R Us. Didn't get anything back. They completely cheated me out. Um... Just a bunch of bull crap happened there. And then after that, I picked up my normal edition. Was sad that I didn't get 20, 25 zombies. But you know what? I got it anyways because I got a season pass. And that should be it. And this is your boy Zach's Logan Logster. Good and tight and good night.